right, burn, baby, burn. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Road trip time. I'm going to see a man about a grain head for Gertie. Whoop, whoop. Holy smokes, they just keep going, y'all. People are asking why we pretend river bottoms are flood all the time, well. Our new morning routine, coming to look at the bottom. <laughs> Still water. Hoped it would all be out. Looking for looking for a survivor. A bean. Not seeing any. See a lot of mud though. Where the water got up on it, you don't see no. Where the water got up on him, you don't see him. He said that scares him. can be really interesting. Mm-hmm. They just, he has no clue what to do. Got him. Austin got him with some corn. Took, took a little doing. Weakness. You know his weakness? Corn's his weakness. Uh-huh. <laughs> then things are a pain. Trying to load a bottle calf will kind of make you unlove them pretty quickly. <laughs> he didn't want to get on and now he doesn't want to get off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He's coming up here and he's grabbing that and then he's jumping back like it's biting him. Watch. That's a scary leaf. That's a scary leaf. Come on. I'll show you the way. Come on. I'll show you the way. Bring him on, Gus. Bring him on, Gus. Go, Gus. Come here. Oh, I'm trying to lose a dog. Wait. Gus, wait. I forgot to video him. He's in there. We'll check on tomorrow. Okay, y'all. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Never mind this crazy hair. I'm about to light some charcoal. I'm pretty sure for the first time in my 42 year... 41? I'm not 42 yet. Don't rush it, Meredith. 41 years of life. Right by myself. In my brand new North Carolina Cattlemen's Association fire pit, which I am actually using as a grill because I don't have one that works. And uh, we're right here next to the hose. It's all gonna be good. I just nicked my thumb, it's bleeding. Anywho, I'm excited. I'm gonna do this right by myself. 
and hope and pray I can do it. I have a nice little pyramid here. Lawrence told me to stack them up, stack them up like that and douse them and light them and not to do it with my face hanging over it because then I might catch on fire. So I'm going to heat his advice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this together. I don't know how much you're supposed to put, but I'm just gonna go for more is better. Surely that's enough. Okay, we don't measure around here. All right, here we go. You ready? Okay, stand back. My little cheap lighter. Come on. Oh, oh, that was very non-eventful. Very non-eventful, but it's pretty. All right, burn little coals. Burn and get white. See, I got it right here where I can see it from the kitchen window because I need to go in and make the patties. Wasn't that smart? Yeah, it was. Came, I mean, it came with a great grill. Great, great, great. Came with a great. Isn't that pretty? I love it so much. All right, burn, baby, burn. Houston, we have a problem. My flame went out. Okay. Whoops, take two. Well, this is obviously harder than it looks because I've already doused it again and it went up in flames. And I doused it some more. Look, I already burnt my thing. And it's not staying lit. I don't know the trick, obviously. Okay, y'all. The coals finally got white. And now we have good old North Carolina beef cooking on a North Carolina Cattlemen's Association fire pit. I'm so excited. I gotta stay close though because there's some little doggies who might try to snatch, might try to snatch my burgers. And that's not gonna happen, Bonnie. You hear me? Well, so far so good, but I'm just not used to this slow burn. It's slow, guys, it's slow. It smells good. Hopefully it's gonna taste good. <laughs> I think I put the cheese on too soon. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Just talking about how good it smells out here. It smells sweet, doesn't it? It's a sweet. Smell of summertime and grass and hay. Hey, oh. hey y'all. Yep, you got your hay y'all shirt on. <laughs> this farm life .com. This farm life <laughs> My little salesman. Oh, yep. Hey Elmo, we're coming to check on you. She brought you some apples. She said she, he likes apples. I don't know. He'll eat anything. He ate bologna before. <laughs> He's eating nabs, bologna, oh, and apples. <laughs> ah! Look, my butt. Boot. Yeah. Elma, what do you think? You have a little more room here, don't you, buddy? Okay. We're just letting him stay in here for the night. Tomorrow he gets to be, well, he gets to be castrated. <laughs> and then we'll go in another little lot, try to get used to the electric fence before we turn him in with the little oh, group of heifers. <laughs> He's got his water. He's got How his hay. Oh my He's got God. a little feed trough. Oh gets to hang out in the corral tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> He's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> he just sucked my arm to pieces. Here it comes again. <laughs> okay, here you can have it. Oh, he just burped here. <laughs> oh gosh, you're just a big pet. That's the problem. You're getting big. You're getting too big to be rubbing <laughs> on people. Oh, boy. Yeah, he listened. He said, give me something to suck on your hair, your arm, no. <laughs> your face, <laughs> your boots. <laughs> 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 
Oh, smell mo, Elmo. So I don't know what to do. There's so much room in here. That hay and all this hay. Plenty of hay. Yeah. Water. We got some good orchard grass over here we just got the other day. Yeah. This is good stuff, Elmo. <laughs> I see you. No, you can't eat me. I'm not letting you <laughs> Good morning. How'd you rest? Good. <laughs> hey, pretty boy. <laughs> I'm ready for my feed. Thank you very much. He relocated his little trough. Imagine that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Never that little hump. <laughs> Morning, ladies. <laughs> Good job. Oh my goodness, so good. Hello, sister. Where's Panda? There's Panda. Come on, girl. <laughs> good job. turtles. Is that, there's two in there. We're growing a crop of turtles and mud. Yeah. Huh? Is that number two? Mm -hmm. This is Buddy? This was the first one. Yes, Buddy. You've already named it Buddy? <laughs> hey Buddy, let's stick your head out. Not today. He's a tiny tape measure. <laughs> Farm Girl Fitness. <laughs> Afternoon Elmo check. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. Doing good? You might get to wait another day or two before we change your mind. Look at that time. <laughs> that was good. Oh, you're a mess. Got some good hay right here, buddy. Got it made. In the shade. <laughs> mm, look, my phone. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh, gotta get them scratches. Huh? Gotta get them scratches. Road trip time. I'm going to see a man about a 
Grain head for Gertie. Whoop, whoop. Look at all the gleaners, y'all. Gleaner graveyard. Okay. Y'all, we are at, I'm here with Mr. Forrest Oakley, Oakley Combines. I need to change hats. My girl's got hers on. And this is where we've gotten two heads. We're getting a new grain head. Well, it's it's like new now, right? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're excited to have that. Hopefully we're gonna have some beans to be able to use it on. <laughs> so how long have you been here? 30 years. 30 years. And you started this from the ground up? Yes. Why gleaner? There's a good question. I grew up with a gleaner. You grew up with a gleaner. My father had two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think you've done well. <laughs> uh, the Lord has blessed me, that's for sure. Yeah. This is really cool. We're going to go outside and walk around a little bit and look at all the gleaners. I was amazed when we pulled up and I saw that sea of gleaners. <laughs> this was pretty cool. Yeah, I did that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for everything. No, thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> Good to meet you too, finally. <laughs> oh man, while we were talking, they already got it on. Ain't she a beaut? I'm not talking about you, Gabe. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is our new grain head. I've been calling it a bean head and I keep getting corrected that it's a grain head. It's even got your name on it, Lawrence. <laughs> How old is this? What? How old is it? Okay. Close to close to Gertie's age. That's good. But y'all, evidently it's been just completely restored. I mean, I don't know anything about these things, but that's, that's what he did. Well, yeah, okay. I just said restored. You said what? Oh, Re yeah, restored. Get a new lease on life. <laughs> we need to name the grain head. Gertie, just Gertie's grain head. They ain't never just right. They're always too long or too short. Oh, don't get me started on these ratchet straps. If you watched my last video, you'll see what kind of fight we had. I finally think I figured them out, though. She watched the Titanic the other night for the first time on TV. on a little gleaner stroll here. All the parts. I mean, obviously, obviously, a lot of these are used for parts. Holy smokes, they just keep going, y'all. They just keep going and going and going. <laughs> I think he's the, he's the main guy. Lawrence told me he knows everything about a fixing a gleaner. Okay. You're doing getting me going up in the bed. Yeah, I was just going to talk to you. You've been here how many years? 33. 33. Okay. He told me 30, but he, he's been here 35, he said, I think. Before, yeah. yeah. I came in. When he started the business, I, I came in I'm saying, a couple of years after he had got started. Okay. And he didn't have anything. <laughs> see a little See a little building behind that truck right there, the little, yeah. little small pack out. Yeah, I see it. That's when I started working in. Oh my gosh. And now look at all this. Huh? This is amazing. Yeah, but, that, but that, you ain't seen, this ain't nothing. Really? That field, uh -huh. that field right there where you see that, that this, that. Yeah. And all that you see right here, uh -huh. going on back, you see smoke. Uh -huh. All these fields were full of combine. Oh, wow. Ooh. I love. It. I like this work. You do well. That right. makes that makes it a lot more fun, doesn't it? And it's good when. Up in the morning to come to work. That's what I was gonna <laughs> say. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for the work oh, you've you helped work. helped do on our heads and. Yep. Be careful. <laughs> he 
He's like, lady, get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? Going looking for a part? No, what I'm doing now. Basically, what I'm doing now. Wheat season is going to start within the next three to four weeks. Wheat season in the next three to four weeks. Okay. What I'm doing now, I'm just getting parts that, that customers be buying. I got you. And putting them in stock. That's right, smart. Right now, right now, I'm getting healing balls. And, and they sell a lot of them. So by some people want new ones, some people want good use. And what I'm getting out of here, they just as good as new. Right. The only thing about it, the back end of the combine burn up, yeah. stuff ain't hurt. Well, you're obviously a good employee. Well, I, I don't miss no day. <laughs> yeah. The only way I miss a day, you best believe it, I'm sick. I got a key to the door, I open up every morning. Right. Every morning, I'm here, I'm at 4 o'clock every morning. Oh my goodness. A great story. You know, it's, it's a job, but I like it. I right. like what I'm doing, even though it's a dirty job. Yeah. Like hey, dirty jobs can be some of the funnest jobs. <laughs> yeah. And some yeah. and some days not, but... Yeah. What I'm doing right now. Yeah. Hey, it's funny. <laughs> I hate to disappear, but I got to go. Okay. Didn't even get his name. Roy. That's Roy. All right, Roy, you take care. I think those heads must go to a little bit newer and gleaners, what do you reckon? <laughs> well, all I can say is if you're anywhere within, I don't know, 500 miles, <laughs> Oakley Combines is a place for your gleaner needs. Yeah, good folks. Good business, good story. I love it. And we love Gertie. <laughs> Here's hoping we actually get some beans up this year. Combine, we will have some barley, so we're still gonna need that head one way or the other, but Whew. come on beans, come on. Or at least get dry enough where we can replant. Going to check some more river bottom. We had six and a half tenths. More rain yesterday. It's probably not good. I mean, it isn't good. Hopefully, hopefully the water's not out yet. Evidently, there's more coming. Thank you, Tropical Storm Depression Bertha. What's the saying? When it rains, it pours. Wait. What? But so does Martin Salt. So, so it says on the bottom. February. Well, that's good. At least. I don't think. No. He doesn't think without actually getting over there to be able to see. But we can't do that. Not yet. She's still too muddy. So, yeah. I mean, there's sand there, but there was already sand there. <laughs> yeah, I do see the humps that you had pushed down that are kind of back. It's not as bad as it was. It ain't quite as bad. Still some work to do, for sure. What, um, so we just cut this for hay. What was the plan next? This was barley. 
put soybeans back on it, either to combine up for hay. I can't get any more of the soybeans that I got. I don't want to buy the expensive ones. I don't know. We put sorghum Sudan back on them or something for hay. Now I'm looking for something cheap because we really may get out and get it again. Yeah. asking why we pretend river bottoms are flood all the time. Well, our upperland fields are in pasture and it's hilly and steep. We ain't got no real good cropland other than the river bottoms. And other than 25 or 30 acres is all we got on the hill that you can cut hay off of. So that's, we have to take, take a risk. When it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's bad. It's still too early to tell about corn, the corn and the beans, as far as replanting. I think both of them done. I think it's 100% loss. Okay, he thinks it's 100% loss, which will mean replant if we can get back in there. That's right. If it ever dries up, we can get back in there. And then what I'm thinking about, when I had corn to cut some for silage, is either plant a tropical corn. Or either sorghum to cut the silage. Where the beans is at, I, I don't know. Alright. Hurry up and wait for it to stop raining and dry out. <laughs> Well, the river's backing up. It's coming back out. That this branch is usually tiny. Yeah, it's usually tiny. And we had this culvert redone a few years ago. <gasps> it, what, how many times did it blow out? A bunch. Anyway, for it to be backed up in there is not good. y'all I got wet earlier uh because it's been raining but look look at my crib my hand-me-down chair and my sweet doggy looky 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 y'all we have an office yeah it's coming right along I still gotta get electricity run there's electricity right now through a drop cord and heat and air, but basically that's it. She's done and she's amazing. And I keep pinching myself because I can't believe it's even real. Can't believe it. So thankful.